Hey everybody, my name is Scott. I'm with the Arizona Hot Tub Factory and they call me the Spa Man. Today I'm working on a hot tub that has an error code of HH, which means it's overheating. Um, somewhere in the board or the sensors, it's not telling the hot tub to shut off when it hits the temperature. It's just overheating. I've already replaced the sensors on this hot tub about a week ago and it didn't solve the problem. Usually if it's not the sensors, it'll be the board. This is what a typical board looks like in a hot tub that has a Balboa VS pack like this. I really like Balboa products. This is actually only the second board I've personally ever had to replace. Normally it's not the board. Uh, Balboa is a very good product. Uh, I don't have problems with them. Every now and then I have a programming issue with the top top side where a homeowner will push a wrong button or something like that and they'll get it in the what uh, they call the wrong filtration cycle or they'll go... Uh, and you know, just kind of reprogram. Those are usually the issues we have with Balboa. And I don't call it an issue with the Balboa. I call it a customer not reading the owner's manual issue. But anyways, today we're going to be changing this out. We'll kind of show you how you go about doing it. It's not a hard, hard uh, fix. It takes maybe 20, 30 minutes to do. It's pretty much plug and play. You unsnap everything, snap everything back in. But before you start, the first thing you do is shut off the power to the hot tub. Um, there's a breaker over on the wall. I've already shut it off. I will be testing it to make sure that I've shut off the power here at the hot tub because you never know. There could be a breaker on the wall that you've shut off that you think runs the hot tub, and then you find out later that breaker had nothing to do with the hot tub. So my advice is always double check to make sure before you stick your fingers inside that you have shut off the power to the hot tub. So anyways, we'll get started here. It's pretty simple. You take the door off. Okay, on the back door, it'll always have what the wiring is that's inside the hot tub. This hot tub is being hooked up uh, 220 volt, which is a 50 amp GFI. It's two hot wires, a common and a ground. This pack in this hot tub also has the ability to be ran 110 plug and play. I'll go over and do a video of how you do that in a different in a video in the future, but for right now, we're going to show you how we replace this pack. Now I have my meter out and I'll check to make sure that the power is shut off. I've got nothing there. I've got nothing there. I've got nothing from there to the ground and nothing from the other to the ground. You see it just for a second. Basically what I'm checking on is I'm checking on this wire right here and I'm checking on this one. You got a hot, a hot, a common and your ground goes over here. So basically I'm checking to make sure that those wires are correct. Okay, start by disconnecting. I usually start by disconnecting the electric first. It's not hard to do. I've already marked the wires so that I do know where the wires go. Disconnect the ground. And then we'll just pull that out. That way we know which one's which. Okay, very simple. Next thing we do, well, I undo the heater. When I undo the heater, I use a quarter inch wrench and a three eighths. Some people will just stick a three eighths wrench on top and they'll just try to twist. What happens when they stick the three eighths wrench on top, you will break this down here. If you stick it down there, the quarter inch will stick right in there and then you just lightly untighten it. Anyways, I now have both of the the leads that run to the heater disconnected, and then I just unloosen these a little bit up here and stuff. So I've got this loose and it comes apart. Now I'll take the sensors off because the sensors need to come out of the board and still I'll pull all those down. And then uh, come over here and we take this off. And this is what's keeping all the cables that run the ozonator, that run the uh, electric pump, that uh, your top side control. These keep all those in line for when you're, they run in and out. Very simple, it's nothing more than a Phillips screwdriver and you just take them apart. Now none of these wires can be ran into a different one. So that's your pump, there's your light, or no, uh, that was the, it might have been the ozone pump, 
and we got the top side control. So basically everything right now is disconnected from this top side. There's nothing else here, or from this uh, board, I'm sorry. There's nothing else here. Everything else is there. Now the rest is nothing more than a bunch of Phillips screws. Okay, I now have the board out of the, of the uh, pack itself. This is what the pack looks like without the board. Just so you can see, there's nothing really in there. It's got a couple places. Now, this is the board that came out of this pack. This is the new board. Down here, you've got some dip switches. This is the way the hot tub was set up. So you want to make sure that these dip switches are set up the same way that the other one was. Also, when you're removing the screws, there's a screw here, 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 and here. So you got two, three, four, five, six, seven screws. One of the screws has orange paint on it. And I think the manufacturer does that so that when a spa tech gets in there and the orange paint has been removed, he can tell whether the board has been replaced or not. So anyways, this screw is usually in this corner. This is the biggest pain in the butt to get out of there because you don't want to strip the screw out. So my suggestion is find a really good screwdriver and make sure I put my hand behind the pack when I did it and I pushed as hard as I could. It's, I'm not sure what they're using. It looks like paint, who knows. But anyways, definitely need to make sure you get the paint off that before you pull it out. So I'm gonna change these dip switches to this one and then I'll reinstall the board. Okay, I've set all the dip switches just the same way that they were set on the old one and stuff. But what I also do is I take a picture on my cell phone of the old dip switches just in case there is a problem. Um, things can happen. I can put this back in, I'll send this back to the manufacturer and something gets moved up or down and it doesn't work. I've still got what the original was off the board that I pulled out. Okay, now I have all the screws back in the board. The board is back in the pack. You reconnect your uh, sensors first. Sensors are in the back. And then sensors, you got left one, right one. You got left one, right one. It's pretty simple, it just plugs in. If you're a little handy and you've worked on stuff, such as you know wiring your own stereo systems, worked on cars, hot tubs are not that hard. Okay, from here we got, this is your top side. It kind of looks like the old television cords. Top side, it'll plug right in. If you're not sure where it goes, you can come over to here and it'll show you where each one of these goes and stuff. You just got to read it. See right here it says ozone. Right here it says pump one. So that tells me it's pump one. This only has one pump. So you just got to go through and read what each thing is. It'll Sometimes you just got to get out and read. Now when you're putting in the pumps and you're putting in the uh, ozone, there's really, you can't put these in upside down. They, if you look at it, this one is round on two on three sides of it, and then it's flat right here. The next one is round, round. And then this one is round on three sides, but then it's flat on this end. So it can only go in one way. You can't really put it in backwards. This one's got three wires. Now when we come down and I'll unplug the pump, see the pump has four wires because you got high speed, low speed, you got a common and a ground. So. It's usually labeled, if you're not sure, and you're looking at this, you're going, wow, which one is which, and you're not sure, you might have to pull off one of your other panels, and you'll follow this wire around to find out where the wire goes to, if you didn't mark them. I personally, I don't mark them. I usually know where they go just because I've done so many of them. But as a homeowner, or as a newbie, or somebody that's just learning how to do this, it's all you do is mark the things. You can write on it, you know, with a Sharpie, pump. You can write on it with a Sharpie, ozone. The lights are pretty self-explanatory. Lights are black and white, but it's just different things. I should have uh, mentioned that before I took it apart, but like I said, if you get lost and you're not sure, look at this, follow the line around. It's gonna take you right to what it is. So anyways, we'll go ahead and finish wiring this up and we'll fire the hot tub and see if we fixed our problem. Okay, we've just back out this pack all put back together. As you can tell, I'm right now working on the heater. I can't stress enough, you need a quarter inch wrench on the bottom of the heater to hold on to the element. If you try to just put a wrench on top, you will twist this part off. You will twist this part off right here, you're going to twist it, it's just a little bitty 
you know, probe. And you always use a wrench, always. I can't stress that enough. I can't tell you how many times I've went out to work on hot tubs and somebody said, yeah, we just changed the heater and we did this and we did this. And the problem was that they broke that little probe off. So we're gonna go ahead and wire this back. Now, when we took this apart, I did mark, since these were two white wires and then the big blacks, I did wanna make sure that I marked them. So I did put a Sharpie mark for uh, line one, line two, and then I know this is the common and this is the ground. Longer wire. Okay, I got the whole pack put back together. Up here, you've got your, um, your pump. Right here, you've got your top side control. Right here, you've got your ozone. Right here, you've got your light. Down here, I've hooked in the two clips. That one, one is the uh, sensor on this side of the heater. The other one is the sensor on this side of the heater. I've retightened both of the screws up here that screw to the board for the heater. And I've retightened both of these screws that, uh, or both of these nuts that screw to the heater itself. Can't stress enough, use a 3 8 wrench and a quarter inch wrench underneath the brass part or the copper part and stuff. Up here I've hooked up the uh, common wire on top. I've got a hot wire, I've got uh, the hot wire here and I've got the hot wire here and the ground here. I personally would never wire a hot tub like this. I'm not sure who did, I would not. I would always run the ground in green I would always run the uh, common wire in white, but these two wires right here, I would have never marked them with this white tape right here. Very confusing. So I would have left these just black so that you would know which, which, way, which way they go. But just my opinion, we're gonna go ahead and fire this hot tub and see how she works. Jacob has charged the hot tub. We do have movement, which we should have movement. We did not change any of the water, and we did not mess with any of the valves. The only thing we did was change a board. Everything seems to work fine. Set the temperature on 100 degrees. We'll give it a second and see how it works. At this time, we'll go ahead and put the uh, cover back on the pack. Like I said, the cover just slides on and goes up to it. Any information you need is always on the back of the cover. Very important. Well, it appears that we fixed this hot tub. Uh, it's not shooting the HH anymore. We're at the top side. You can see that the red light is on, so it is heating. And right now, the temperature is right at, I think it's 84 degrees. We've set the temperature for 100 degrees. So, we can check to make sure what uh, filter setting is by hitting the heat up, and then hit the jets, and it's in F1. And that's where it should be. Back here, we're at 100 degrees, and it looks like she's ready to rock and roll. Anyways, I hope that helps out in anybody trying to change out a board. Uh, this will work on other hot tubs, not just Balboa. Just today I had a Balboa to do. I had a nice, beautiful area to work underneath. I hate, and as you know, I hate working in the sun. So I figured this was a great, you know, way to show a video. I had the shade on me and I could take my time and put out a quality product for everybody. If this helps, please leave a comment. Uh, if you want to subscribe to my channel, I'm going to start doing videos on a weekly basis. I've done a bunch of other videos. I just haven't finished the editing yet. Uh, I'm just a busy person. It's that time of the year. I work on hot tubs pretty much every day, seven days a week during the busy season. So we will put out more videos as uh, time allows it. So, but I do hope that everybody enjoyed this video and you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.